Okay, so let us take another problem. Now this time we will look at half yearly half yearly compounding. So let's say find out amount received by John if he invested rupees 15,000 at compound interest of 10% half yearly for one year and six months. Okay. Now, we know that the amount at the end of 10 years is equal to the principal 1 plus R upon 100 to the power N. Okay. Well, the principal we know is 15,000. R is equal to 10% and N well, what I see here is that N is equal to one year, six months. And even the compounding has to be done half yearly. So one and a half month, one and a half year. Now, if you remember, I told you that this R or the rate of interest has to be annual. Okay. But because the compounding has to be done half yearly, so in such cases, if compounding is to be done half yearly, then what do we do? We divide rate by 12 and multiply by period of compounding. So we are to do with 10, we multiply it by period of compounding, which is six months and divided by 12, because 12 months is the annual period. And this is 10% per annum. So one goes, two goes to five. So R becomes five. So I have to take R as 5%. Now, the interesting thing to note here is about N. And what's that interesting thing? n is equal to one and a half year. So if I compound on a half yearly basis, then to reach one and a half year, what I will need to do is, I will need to do the compounding three times. Why? So first six months, I do the compounding once. Then at the end of 12th year, I do the compounding second. And at the 18th month, I do the compounding third. And 18th month is basically equal to one and a half year. So how many N is the number of years or the number of times the compounding has to be done. So N in this case will become three. Now I need to put up the values here. So 15,000 into one plus R. R is five upon 100 to the power three. Simply speaking, you, you divide the rate by the period. I mean, whatever is the monthly rate, you have to divide it and N gets multiplied according to this compounding. This will give me 15,000 into one can again be written as 100 upon 100 plus 5 upon 100 to the power 3. If you solve this, you get 105 upon 100 to the power 3 into 15,000. This can actually be written as 21 upon 20. So this will become 15,000 into 21 by 20 
into 21 by 20 into 21 by 20. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. The 3, 0 go here. So what I need to do now is, only thing I need to do is to do the multiplication. 2 into 2, 4 into 2 gives me 8. If I do the multiplication of these three numbers, what do I get? Well, I get 1, 3, 8, 9, 1, 5. And as I do the division, 1, 58, 7, 29, 3, 51, 6, 35, 4, and 30. So I can broadly put this as 1 if I round off. So this is going to be the principle if you do the compounding twice a year.